Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number six, I believe. And in today's vlog, I'm actually gonna go over the layout for the clinic. And just to give you some perspective of where I'm standing right now, back here is the entrance, the door into the clinic, and that is facing the west. And these are the windows over here that is facing the south. And what I am going to be explaining is this whole process of how we actually develop the layout. So to give you a little bit of a timeline here, before we actually offered on this space to purchase it, we had gotten contact with an architect and the general contractor all through the realtor that we used in order to purchase this facility. As soon as we made an offer and the offer got accepted, we reached out to the architect specifically to have them come and do measurements inside of this area so he could get an idea of what the dimensions were. And then probably I'm guessing a week after the offer was accepted, we actually scheduled an appointment with the general contractor and the architect together, both of them who we found through our realtor. And we essentially told him all of the different rooms that we wanted inside of the clinic. We told him how many people we would want to be able to sit in the waiting area. We told him how many treatment rooms we wanted, how many sound booth rooms we wanted, uh, the break room, all of that stuff. We told him those things, not necessarily the dimensions of those things, but gave him kind of a rough idea of what those dimensions would kind of be. And then he went to the drawing board, literally, and started drawing out what he thought would be good from the perspective of the flow of the clinic and where the room should be positioned inside of this rectangular space. And then we scheduled another appointment with him and he came in and gave us his, uh, his view of what the clinic should be laid out like. And it was completely not what we were looking for. And, and he knew that you know, everybody's you know, perspective and it's different from an audiology clinic to, uh, to a different medical office and things of that nature. So we basically told him the things that we liked, things that we didn't like about the layout. And then he went back again and started to make some adjustments to it. And I think that took another week or two weeks for him to come back with revisions to it. Uh, and then he met us at our place and went over them again and it still wasn't exactly what we were looking for. And so at that point, he basically gave us a blank canvas for us to start doing our own uh, drawings on. And so this right here, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. This right here is basically a clean slate and he gave us a ruler along with this that had uh, the dimensions on it. So like for every inch, it was roughly uh, one square foot or two square foot, something like that, I can't remember. But we basically, me and Ashley, we started to draw out the layout of how we felt that it would flow the best and what you know type of rooms we needed and things of that nature and complete nightmare. I mean, if it was left up to me, it would not have gotten done. Ashley was definitely the, the point person on that. For whatever reason, my brain just does not work in you know layout format. And so we ended up coming up with a rough draft, essentially, of what we would want the clinic space to look like. And so I have that as well. Again, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but this is basically what we came up with, a bunch of pencil drawings and uh, basically guesstimates of what this space would essentially look like. And then we had the architect come by again uh, so we could explain this and show it to him and then send him home with this ultimately. And then another week or two later, he sent us the, the digital drawings of it. And so I'm actually gonna do an overlay of these digital drawings so you can see what the final layout of the clinic is. So when you walk in the main door, you can see that there's a small space before you actually hit that front counter, which is where the reception area will be. And then immediately to the right, you have a decent sized waiting area that's gonna have enough room for about 10 to 12 chairs. And then you have a door that's gonna open up into a long hallway, and then essentially everything is going to be opening into that hallway. Um, we're gonna have three treatment rooms. They're gonna be 14 foot by 12 foot, and those are all gonna be aligned with the windows. So each treatment room will have a window that uh, is inside of the room. Inside of the reception area, there's gonna be a check-in, check-out space, and then on the far left-hand side, you can see here, we're gonna have a manager's office where there's gonna be two spots, one for the office manager, probably one for Ashley, and then on the other side of that, we're gonna have two restrooms. So we'll have a male and female restroom. 
as you keep working further down that hallway. We have two rooms that are designated for sound booths, but I'm not quite sure we're gonna put two sound booths in. We might just do one sound booth since it's not really a room that we use uh, uh, very often because it's usually only doing initial hearing tests and follow-up hearing tests. But other than that, we don't do a whole lot inside of those rooms. So we might see if we can just have one of those rooms be a sound booth room and then utilize that other room as extra space to do other things in. Then we're gonna have a break room. That's where the staff are gonna be able to go, of course, to take breaks and eat lunch and things of that nature. And then off of the break room, we're gonna have a work room. And that's where a lot of hearing aid maintenance and repairs and diagnostic testing and all of that is gonna take place. So when we break down this 2,300 square foot area, we really wanted three treatment rooms. You know, if we were to cut down on the treatment rooms themselves and maybe make them a little bit larger, we could have increased space for waiting area and things of that nature. But, you know, we tend to run pretty well on schedule. And so there's not a lot of time spent inside the waiting rooms anyway. And so we figured why not maximize it from the treatment perspective and have three rooms inside of there. So, you know, I think we utilize the space pretty well. I don't think it's gonna be too cramped. I don't think it's gonna be too wide open. Uh, 2,300 square foot is a lot of room and we did wanna maximize that room. We didn't wanna have a lot of, you know, just extra space laying around. That being said, I, I truly feel like if we had 4,000 square foot, we probably would have maximized that space as well and it still felt like it was a little, um, you know, too little amount of space for us. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, having three treatment rooms, having, you know, you know all those other spaces that we're gonna have inside of the clinic, I think that we're gonna be set up pretty well into the future and be able to serve a lot of, of patients here. And that's the goal is to have this one clinic, not to have to have a lot of outside you know, clinics, multiple clinics. It's just not what I'm going for. I wanna make sure that everything is under one roof essentially, and that we're able to control the quality of care from that standpoint. So um, I hope you guys like this video. I think it's a pretty quick one. Uh, hopefully you like the layout. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And if you missed the other vlogs that I've done, I've gone over a lot of other information about this space, why we picked it, uh, how much it cost and all of that. So make sure you check out the older vlogs as well. That being said, take care and I'll see you next week.